the next string function we'll take a look at is the replace function. Replace function is used to search and replace all occurrences of a substring with another substring in a given string. And a substring just means part of a string value. The syntax for replace function is we have the, the replace keyword followed by the string, which is the body of text or string characters. And then we have a comma. And what do we want to replace? So which is the, the old string. So what exactly are we replacing? We have that as the old substring and then comma and then the new substring, which is what we want to replace it with. Right, so let's write our title and that will be the replace function. And the string character that would like to replace part of its part of it or substring of it would be let's say happy birthday. So we have happy birthday and what we're trying to do is we want to replace the happy within the string happy birthday with another value with another character value. So we we'll have our select keyword. We have the replace keyword and then we'll have to we have our character value happy birthday. And we want to replace the happy within that strings within that string. We want to replace that with yellow. All right. So just to quickly go through it again, we have um, our select keyword, the replace key keyword function, and then upper birthday is the text or the character value. We want this happy to be changed to yellow. When we run this, now we have yellow birthday. Same thing, we can do the same with Hello world. So let's say select replace and we have hello world and we can replace the, let's say, let's replace the world and I'm just making this up and we're going to replace that with again. All right. And this will be hello again. So when we run that, we have hello again. All right, let's, uh, let's look, take a look at our table. And what we want to do is let's replace, let's replace all the, let's replace all the E within our, within the title of our book would replace the we'll replace the e with the number eight. So what go? Let's say let's select, and let's also select the let's just select the author's last name, and then we want to select the title. But now we want to we want to replace a value within title and the value we want to replace is or a character we want to replace e the character e so anywhere where there's e within the title column we want to replace that with eight right and then from books let's run that so now we see that in Just Mercy, the E has been replaced with eight. Um, be obsessed, we have a few eights there because we had a few E's. So B8, eight, obsessed, eight. yeah, you, you get it. Popular Hibiscus by a D chair that's been replaced as well. And uh, another thing we can do is even though we've re replaced a, a character, a letter like E with, uh, with a number, we can also replace space. So if we look at our, let's take a look at our table. Within the title, we have spaces between, you know, if there are multiple words, if it's a multiple word title, we there are spaces. So we have just message as a space. Because the space is also a, a, a character value, we can replace the space with with something else. So 
let's say let's do the same thing and you know I'm just gonna copy this and we can replace instead of E we can just leave it blank so what we want to do is want to replace the space and anywhere there's a space in our title let's replace that with the with plus with a plus sign all right and so this would be because this is not a number I'm gonna replace that with plus okay so let's run that and see what that looks like so now all the spaces within our, our title column has been replaced with the plus sign and there should be there should be an n an n here 